Send approval of $3.1 billion for the complete automation of the Nigerian Customs Service is still generating questions. Government is being urged to explicitly spell out the scope of the project and the mode of operations to erase ambiguity. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Defense of his approval of the $3.1 billion modernization contract of the Nigeria Customs Service, the federal government said that it was in pursuit of the diversification of the economy with an expected $176 billion revenue. But Nigerians, especially maritime operators, are asking questions about details of the 20-year modernization contract. A former Comptroller General of Customs is also seeking for details of the planned concessionary investment. After putting those machines, I mean equipment, computers and what have you on ground, are they the people that will collect the duty for the next 20 years? This thing we need to get the clarification. Now, if they are the people to collect the duty for the next 20 years, and then the custom officer will be watching and they will take over after 20 years, it's a different, entirely different issue. Now, but if they are putting these equipment and they are training the custom officer to carry on their statutory responsibilities, it's another issue entirely. Speaking on the potential $176 billion expected revenue from the automation project, Herman Bello says more needs to be explained. This thing, the minister need to give further clarification. One, this $176 billion that the government is going to get, is it on a monthly basis? Now, if it is on a monthly basis, they cannot do it. He reasoned that if in 2014 the Nigeria Customs Service generated 977 billion naira at an exchange rate of 192 naira to a dollar, giving an estimated annual revenue of $5 billion, it then follows that with the current exchange rate of 381 naira to a dollar, customs is expected to generate $10 billion annually, translating to $200 billion in 20 years. If it is for one year, I mean for the duration of 20 years, multiply the $20 billion on a monthly basis by, uh, I mean $10 billion by 20, that will give you about $200 billion. And if they are getting... 176, then it is, it, there is a shortfall of about $24 billion. As it stands now, the call is on the Federal Ministry of Finance to publish details of the contract to enable Nigerians understand the scope of the automation project. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.